Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Alright guys, now this Let's Play is, in my opinion, the most eagerly awaited Let's Play that I've ever done, or I've ever wanted to do. Maybe not with you guys, because you guys may not know of this game, but to me personally, I've been playing this game for a few years now, and I've just been dying to Let's Play it, but I never had the right computer for it. But since I've just recently finished uh, a Let's Play of a few DS games, let's get straight into this. Welcome to... Published by Nintendo, along with Square Enix and Modi Clip Video Codec. Along with level 5, what happens to level 1, 2, 3, and 4, we can only guess. Scenario game, game design, Yuji Hori. Character and monster design, Akira Toriyama. Oh yeah. Music composer, Kuichi Sugiyama. It's a man running! Yes! He has a helmet. He has what looks like a colander for a hat. There's a gigantic dragon. He's blocking shot. Oh, he got owned. Oh, wait! There's someone with a pearl necklace, and that apparently heals him. Yay, I'm healed now. And there's a woman showing her midriff with a staff. Charge up my blade. And then there's a... Wow, that guy is very, very strong to block a dragon's tail attack. Hey, slimes! So long since we've seen you guys. Oh, yes! New towns, new cities, new areas to explore. Friendship, walking around, shopping, looking to see if they actually have any ID, which they don't. But they're checking out their new clothing and stuff like that. Birds flying everywhere. Someone being happy, someone dancing, and they're all getting pissed! Big surprise. Hmm. Offering something to a tree? Whoa, in a huge sanctuary in the sky, look at that. And a bird flying over a mountain, that's always makes it, that always makes a good game, right? Happy to poke on Ruby, right? Anyway guys, welcome to the long-awaited return of the Dragon Warrior series. Let's play Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. Alright, so this is the game that got me into playing Dragon Quest games in the first place. Uh, and I got this game for Christmas, I believe something like three years ago. Um, I actually wanted it the Christmas beforehand, but my parents forgot. Thinking you know, I was like 16, I had no money of my own as of yet. Now, I'm actually buying Fire Emblem Awakening, because this is Christmas 2013, I'm recording this. So, just like, now, you may be wondering, why aren't I let's play Dragon Warrior 3 before Dragon Quest 9? Well... If I'm honest, I knew not a lot of Dragon Warrior 2, you may have noticed uh, in my commentary or whatever that, well, I didn't really know much of Dragon Warrior, or uh, Dragon Quest 2, or Dragon Warrior 2. So, I'm going to go for the game that I know the most about, which is obviously my first one, Dragon Quest 9. Anyway, so, first we can create our character. We can be a male, we can be a female with pink hair. Oh, it's got to be pink hair, no, no, no. Alright, let's go for the male. Height! The shortest... Nah, we'll, we'll make him a little bit tall, but not that tall, because it's supposed to represent me. Hairstyle! You can be Krillin. You can be... Odd Mohawk Guy. You can... You can look like... Leon! From Resident Evil. You can look like... Vegeta, I think? <laughs> Especially with that receding hairline slightly. Uh, you can look like Maximilian Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh! You can... I don't know, is that supposed to be Gohan or something? I don't know. I'm guessing with a lot of the hair designs of Sakura Toriyama, the person who made Dragon Ball Z. I'm guessing there's a lot of similarities with some of these. I have no clue what that is, just a basic hairstyle, I think. Another basic hairstyle... No, that's Elvis. That is Elvis! That is Elvis Presley! So you can play as Elvis Presley if you want. You can play as a judge. Oh, you can just have basic hair. I'm going for the basic, sort of slightly bowl hair. That's my hairstyle sometimes. Sometimes it's not. Hair colour. Normally brown hair, but, well, du during the latter part of 2013, I had very distinct blonde highlights put in my hair, but we're going to have it as brown. Eyes. We can look even more like Krillin by putting those eyes or those eyes up. We can look like Brock. We can look stoned. We can look sort of slightly cross-eyed and stoned. We can look annoyed. Krillin. Ah, <laughs> uh, let, let's just let's just go for 
Like, that's like Goku's eyes as well. There's a lot of Dragon Ball Z stuff in there, I'll tell you that much. Then again, I got no problem with that. Alright, we've got to look. we got to look sort of happy. So let's go for happy, happy Goku eyes. Right, skin colour. We can be... Look at that. Skin colours. Look at that. Okay, let's go for that one. Eye colour! I believe last I checked my eyes were blue. But, uh... I don't know, they seem to be going sort of a bluey green, but blue. We'll go blue. Alright! No, I don't want... There you go. M. And they're not Master. Alright. There you go. Such a shame that they're like one away from putting my full name in, but oh well, never mind. Begin your adventure with this character? Yes. You enter the world. Oh my god, you've got wings and a halo. That is not a good sign from my atheist point of view, but okay. Why is it all the games that I like have some sort of, like, celestial element to it? Jake Coon, for example? Yeah, I'm thinking of that right now. <sighs> anyway, the plot! Hello? Is anybody there? Yes, hello! No, not you! Maybe I wasn't replying to you. If you're there, say something! Show yourself! Oh god, we're at a seance. Someone's using a Ouija board, that's not good. Thus do the po voices of the mortals plead, over hopeful of, of our proof of our existence. For how long have we watched over their realm? <sighs> About four years, mate. For how long have we Celestrians existed? Five years, mate. Ah, shooting star. That means it's going to be awesome. Yay! Welcome, folks, to... The first time in the game, Angel Falls! And there's a, a boy and a dog running along. He's waving to a, so another person with a horse. And a dog! The same dog, I believe. As you can see, some of the sprites in the game are 2D, some of them are 3D. The more important characters have a 3D sprite. For example, that fat person fishing is a 2D sprite. While the dog is a 3D sprite, because it actually has some plot element involved. Oh, hey, Baldy! You don't have any hair! You know why? Because you've got a follicle issue. Um, you have come far, Master F. I must confess to having my doubts when you became guardian of the village in my, ste in my stead. But its inhabitants continued peace and, safe and safety is proof of your devotion. When Apis Major made me Aquila, take Masterath as your apprentice. I never imagined you would do. You would see. I'd see you bloom so. You are worthy of the title indeed, Masterath, Guardian of Angel Falls. Great. Yay, we're a guardian apparently. Hmm. What the? Ah, these people are important to the plot. Come on, old man. <laughs> Don't ever get old, my dear Erin. You don't ever want to get old. Oh, Grandpa, it's not much farther now. I'm sure you'll make it. Will they? Uh, uh oh! Oh no, it's a cucumber with a spear and two slimes. I'm not going to spoil the names of a lot of these, because a lot of these enemies have hilarious names. They hide behind a rock. Yes, fresh meat. Wait, no, you're not the butcher from Dr Diablo. Those wicked creatures must not be allowed to ambush innocent members of your flock, Masterath. Come, Guardian of Angel Falls. It is time to fulfill our duty as Celestrians. After you, buddy! Go! Good lord, my wings are tiny! Is Aquila compensating for something? Yeah, he's compensating for his loss of hair. Yo, Baldy. Ha-ha! Take that! Why is it the... Okay, they seem to see us. That's good. Anyway. Here is the battle system, very similar to uh, the uh, Dragon Warrior games from past. So, pretty much, we've got Aquila, we've got Masterath here. We can't control Aquila because Aquila is not part of our main roster, but as you can see, we're allowed four units. Uh, one obviously being us. Our current class is the Minstrel class, pretty much a basic class, really. Um, it can learn some, you can learn some ordinary attacks and some healing stuff. Stuff like that, pretty much. Anyway, so we can examine what they are. The enemy is a sizing up the party. Good luck with that, buddy. We can also flee, or we can, uh, for example, go to tactics. We can't do tactics because 
Actually, can't do tactics uh, at the moment. Line up. We can change either we want to be on the front line or the back line. The back line, I believe, go later on or uh, uh, do less damage. But then there's less chance of them getting hit if there's someone on the front line. Uh, on the front line, you do more damage, I believe, or you're quicker. Uh, but there is more chance of you getting here. So let's go on the front line, might as well. Tactics, um, with other members of your team, you don't have to control them, but you can have them do a certain thing. Like, for example, if you've got a healer, you can just have them focus on healing, like what Aquila's doing at the moment, but there is no problem with our healing at the moment. Anyway, we go to fight. We've got four, uh, six things, as you can see. Uh, attack, which is your basic attack. Spells is how you can use your spells. Uh, mostly magic-based stuff. Defend, you defend and take less damage if you get hit. Um, abilities... Uh, includes um, like abilities you've got along, like a sword technique or sword skill. Items is how you use your items. And the last one is a coup de gras, um, which is a special move, which is really bloody good. Each class has its own special move. So yeah, the minstrels uh, one is... Oh god, I can't remember for the life of me. So long since I played this game. I used to play this game very religiously for quite a while. Ow! Got a quick oh, oh, the cruel cumber got owned. Yep, they're called cruel cumbers. Yep, uh, but as you can probably tell, this game still follows the same sort of Jake Cocoon principle and the Dragon Warrior quest, uh, the Dragon Warrior series principles of having very different coloured sprites but with all different names. The names just get hilarious in the end. Trust me. Anyway, the enemy are defeated. We gain some experience. Seven experience. That's good. And thirteen gold coins. Lovely. We are getting rich off this. So there you go, we we save the people. We save the people, lovely. See, Grandpa, there's Angel Falls up ahead. <sighs> I honestly believed I'd never set my old eyes on this place again. But here we are at last. Home. Oh, don't be so melodramatic, Grandpa. The village guardian will have been watching over us all the way. Nothing bad could have ever happened to us. Oh god, she's praying. Benevolent Mastra, thank you for protecting us on our journey. No worries. Erin, I think your name was. What the hell is that? Oh god, it looks like the Twitter icon. She sent out a tweet. Uh, the tweet, by the way, is at Mastrath. Just thought I'd mention that. Behold, Mastrath, benevolence. Greatest name ever. It's benevolence in its essence. Let's just call it benevolence. Great name. Let's we'll go. Just roll with that for the game. We need to focus on finding different enemies. Oh, wait. No. We'll just do palette swaps and then make them different and stronger and stuff like that. Uh, yes. The, the uh, Zumini comes to mind, for example. The crystallization of the mortal's gratitude towards, towards we who watch over them. As Celestrians, our carnal duty is the offering of this sacred uh, substance unto mighty Yggdrasil, the great world tree. We've heard of Yggdrasil before, I believe it was in uh, uh, Dragon Warrior 2, and it was a Yggdrasil leaf that we could get as an actual item, which I believe heals up your entire party or some of that, or re revives someone. Come, Mastrath, let us return to the observatory that you may make your offering. Alright, let's go. I look so cute, look at me, he's like, oh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, are you sure you want me as like a, that is a feather, are you sure you want me as like the guardian of these people, D will they be okay with you, Baldy? I'm never going to call Aquila by Aquila, I'm going to call him Baldy. We fly above the clouds and, ah, it's the place we saw in the intro. Welcome, folks, to... Who the hell made this? I don't know who made this place, but it's awesome. Welcome to the observatory. Ah. A bell goes off. Ah, back to class, everyone. You have to learn on how to be a Celestrian. Basically, you've got to have wings, you've got to have a halo, and, and, and you've got to do good stuff. Devil, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. Don't stop for setting fire to the seats. I'm setting you down to hell, damn it. Oh, and that's how it all began. Okay. The first task of a guardian must perform must perform upon returning to the Praetorate. The to Protectorate is to report to Apis Major. As unchanging as the North Star, you shall find him in the Great Hall. I have other matters to attend to. You must excuse me. 
All right, Aquila. Well, nice seeing you, Baldy. So the first thing we want to do is go go and see Apis Major. As you can see, um, there's a map. The little blue dot is us. We can change that. I believe we go to uh, miscellaneous and then go tactics. I think. Yes, we can change the color. So let's put us as. Oh, let's put us as like a turquoise when really that looks like a, a sky blue. But okay, we'll be that. Now, where you can see a sky blue. Woo! All right, so we gotta go to the main hall. I'm not gonna go to the main hall just yet because there's stuff. Not from you though. Pretty much there's a chest over here somewhere where we can go and get ourselves some lovely, lovely goodies. Uh, chests are in this game. There are two types of chests. There are the red chests, like this one here. Oh, by the way, before I mention that, you can break open these by pressing the A button, and sometimes you'll get something. A medicinal herb restores health. M small amount of health, but health nonetheless. Anyway, the red chests um, only turn up once, so you only get the prize once. And there are blue chests, which turn up every so often, and then you can reopen the same chest and get something different. Ah, Chimera Wing! Pretty much this game's version of an Angel Wing sends you to any place you've been before. Uh, the blue chests uh, give you a random item, while the uh, red chests give you the what well, gives you a certain item. And let's go and see Apis Major. Hey, buddy! Wow! Well met, Masterath, apprentice of Aquila. Look at him! Look at that beard on him! Welcome back, Mestreth! I trust your absence has not been so lengthy that you have forgotten your old master, Apis Major! My congratulations on successfully completing your first task as a guardian, Mestreth! You have performed your duties well thus far! I beat under Aquila's watchful gaze! But the time has come for you to spread your own wings! What say you? Are you ready to undertake your duties alone? Yeah, why not? We don't need Baldy! Sun shines in my eyes when it comes off its forehead. Ho 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 ho! I see that you're a confident apprentice, Master Ath. Very good, the young have confidence where the old have experience. True. And so we have come to the next of your duties. I believe you have acquired a crystal of benevolence, have you not? The essence of mortal gratitude. You must offer it unto the great world tree, Yidrasil, who shelters us from with her nut nut nurturing bows from atop the observatory. She will soon bear fruit at last. Go now as I and do as I have instructed. Alright, let's go then to the top of the observatory, because that is where, as you probably tell, that is where the Great World Tree is, because if it's really important, of course it's going to be at the bleeding top, right? But before I do that, I don't want to miss out on anything, because I'm sure there are some chests here which you can miss out on. It's a cool place, isn't it? Aha! There's one! And in it, there's 50 gold coins. Money, money, money. Let's have a look over here. Is there anything? No, it's a dead end. Oh, no, wait. No, it's not a dead end. Oh, no, it is a dead end. It's not dead ends. But I do apologize, this video is probably going to be a bit long. Not as long as Fire Emblem Sacred Stones part, though. The final part of Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. It's not going to be that long of a part, so don't worry. Alright, up to the next level. Oh, wait a minute. I want to double check over here to see if there's anything over here either. You, buddy. I'm not going to talk to you. There's no point. Me and you have nothing in common, apart from wings and a halo. I'm protecting my place and you're just walking around. Ah, that's a good thing I didn't turn up here because... There's something over here too. Again, red chest, can only get this once? It's a Wake Robin! Wake Robin uh, is an, uh, pretty much it's an awakening. It allows you to wake up from sleep. But obviously you can't use it. You'll have to have another member of your party use it. Sadly, since we're the only member of our party, that's not so good. All right. Ah, there's another one over there. Oh no, wait, we've already got that one. <laughs> All right, you failed Master Up, didn't you, buddy? What about over here? Is there anyone over here? I think there might be. Aha, there's one. I believe this is the final one, I believe. What's in here? Ah, vial of holy water. I believe that's a repellent. I'll just double check on that one. No, no, I didn't want to press that button. Yeah, if you press Y, you can see like a little journal. 
of how things go in holy water. Yes, it's a repellent. Keeps monsters away. That's good. Anyway, yo buddy, let me pass. You shall not await. Apis Major has sent you to offer benevolence unto the mighty Yadrasil. Then you may pass. Thank you, Gandalf, you douchebag. Right, let's go. Yay! We are now on to observatory level... Three. Whoop. There's nothing over there. Is there something over here? No. Okay. Wait a minute. What about over here? Is there anything over here either? Huh. There isn't. Alright, let's carry on then. We're up to the top of the observatory. There you go, observatory level four. There's going to be nothing over there, I know that for a fact. Offer the benevolence up to you, Drassil? No! I want to keep the benevolent. Okay, fine. We have to progress through the game by by going through the rules. Here you go, I tweeted. You Drassil is a twat. Hashtag. I hate hashtags. And it shines for us because it is now following me on Twitter. Lovely! I am followed by a tree on Twitter. Brilliant! All it does is it shines. Nice! Behold, Masterath. Is your drassel unto whom we offer the benevolence we gather not truly beautiful? Yeah, mate, you'll get a hard on for a tree. I thought. No, I, I'm not even. I know there are those people around. I'm not one of them, but Aquila, you are damn sure one of them. Gathering and offering up benevolence is the most sacred duty with which we guardians are charged. What? So wait a minute. So offering up benevolence to a tree is more sacred than protecting our people. You got your prior. This place has got their priorities wrong straight away. I believe that's my opinion, at least. I trust you will perform your duties well, Mastrath, Guardian of Angel Falls. Don't worry, I'll do well. I do good. Anyway, guys, that's it from now. I'm going to go for a break here, but I'll see you back in the next part. Let's play Dragon Quest IX, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. I'll see you then.